This is IRAS 16547-4247. Catchy name, right? The central high-density gas cloud is thought to contain multiple high-density protostars. Okay? Now, this... And this is W75NBVLA2. The picture, it's not a picture because we don't get pictures, but the artist conception on the left is from 1996. And the new art on the right is from 2014. And you can see how the inside uh, has become elongated into lobes. So I'll put a link to the two stories involving these two different pictures. This first one here, just take a look at the, the just remember all these pictures I'm going to show you are either stars, star clusters, nebulas, or galaxies, right? So I'll put the link to each, to this story and to this one as well. And you can see they're completely unrelated. They were looked at with two different telescopes in two different parts of the sky and how visibly similar they are doesn't come into the equation anywhere. They're formed, according to the stories, by two completely different processes that don't even allow for the other process to really exist. So if you want to go and read the stories, you can. But now I'm just going to show you some different pictures I assembled from the web here. This is an entire galaxy. So you can see the central torus, the two lobes, and the two jets. This is the Milky Way galaxy. Central torus, two lobes, and the jets are not pictured, but again, they would be going at like 45 degree angle up and down. Again, this is again the Milky Way from uh, the microwave background. You can see the two lobes and the central torus. Then here you have a star. There's a star at the center of that. This is a nebula. You can see the central torus and then the two lobes. Again, the, cent the torus here, you can't really see it, but you can see where the pinch is where the torus would be. It's just not visible two lobes again <laughs> same thing over and over again all throughout space and standard science has completely different explanations for how all of these things formed when if you go with the electric universe model it's really simple